meal. Fourth meal podcast. Uh, excited to be back. Eric Deluxe. Five ski. And we have the homie Fashion. What's up? Fashion. Oh, what's up? Shout out to Scratchy, our uh, engineer. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, yo, thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback um, for the last two episodes uh, after our return. You know, Angie V got carried away. We did three hours. <laughs> And then we got Lechero right after, and that was damn near almost two and a half. He was like yeah, two, and two and a and half. half. And dude, like a lot of a lot of feedback was we we were just like not sure, it, mm -hmm. but but it felt it didn't feel long, you know. We we just hey, <laughs> we, <laughs> we just were talking and yeah. it just kind of and, and having a couple glasses of couple wine. A couple people told me like we could have made like two parts or even yeah. three. Yeah, you know, but, but you know what? But that being said it's just listen to it in yeah. two or three parts you know yeah. i i don't ever i, I listen to pretty long podcasts and yeah. I, i'll just finish them in a yeah, couple same. like a couple days or a week yeah. or two and, and then, you know is you just kind of have to remember yeah. where you left off and then Gym, just, driving yeah. long you know long drive and shit and long jordan long. shout out jordan uh, the, our homie from crossover he was like bro and he's not even a dj yeah, yeah. and he that he was listening to the angie he was like he goes, low key, I could have heard a couple more hours of that. Oh, wow. wow. I was like, wow. Yeah. So good. Good it to was hear a good story, though. That was, feedback. Angie has an amazing story. So, you know. Yeah. yeah and it was uh, Angie's first time on the pod. It was Lechetto's first time on the yeah. pod. Obviously, it's not your first time. So this is a lot easier because we don't have to go into I background. Think it's my third time on the pod. Probably. You did, at, I least, think yeah. Zay, at, at least. At least third. 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 I think at third. least third. Because you were like a, a regular yeah. at one point when we were doing it like consistently but we're trying to get back to that i like that but yeah thank you guys for sharing uh mm -hmm. all the screenshots and tagging us uh appreciate that dearly and um 100 <laughs> on instagram well a few weeks ago and we're trying to be consistent listen yeah, yeah. it's hard every five djs uh 30 days a month yeah five <laughs> you're killing it bro i i i, <laughs> I, I just got back from tokyo so yeah. we're gone um, I could talk about Tokyo too. Yeah, we talked about out. Tokyo. Scratchy was there, because we also want to um, just be more like current and talk about our lives. Yeah. That's good. No, I like that. Like how many times yeah. dig you know, into you in a minute too? You know, what I'm saying? did you use the restroom today? Shit like that. I honestly I haven't. I did once. I haven't used like I haven't done my my daily routine yet. Oh, I, Are you a daily me, routiner? Dog. I yeah, like I I'm, I'm I usually wake up, like you know, I take my vitamins and then like within 30 like you I'm scroll. like uh you know, yeah. the tank is empty. I'm ready to go. Wow. Yeah. Dude, I'm jealous of people today. with good I don't with, leave that, that are regular unless I go. Yeah, right. it hasn't happened yet today. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> All right, poop talk. Um no, so on Instagram we we had uh got uh people ask us questions, you know, just sometimes we need help. Like what do what do you want to hear us talk about or do you have any questions or anything so we got a couple questions here um and i felt like it would be nice for all of us to just yeah chime in and see I what like the that. fuck you know i mean question two it gets right into it you want to ask it um yeah question first question how do i get myself into dj and clubs do you mean vegas or just clubs in general probably just clubs that's a shout out to marvelous mark um what, what was he at? How do you get? How do you get your start? How do I get myself into DJing at clubs? Just, uh, networking, you know. Yeah, just no, going out, I, meeting people. Totally networking. Um, putting out, you know, mixes. I mean, um, my first, my first club was um, thanks to Z Trip. Like I carried his crates of records into yeah, the club. I remember, yeah, you told the story. And before, yeah. by carrying crates into the club, he would let me yeah. play. You know, 20, 30 minutes like early, like open. Yeah. And um, at that point, that's when I like met you know, whoever that was at the club. And I want to say that club was 411 at yeah. the time. And um, yeah, and then when C Trip was like, couldn't do it, he was like, yo, why don't you hire my, hire my guy fashion? Yeah. And then wow. that's kind of how he led. And then once yeah. you do one club, people in the area see you do clubs and they're like, okay, well he plays at that club, so maybe we get him over here. Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely networking, showing face, yeah. it's that whole, out of sight, out of mind, you know, yeah. like no one's going to just go knocking on your door. Like if they don't know who the hell you are. Nah, yeah. That's... So you have to just pull up. Pull I feel up. like a lot of them these days too, like, like they ask, they reach out. Like, uh, I know like Costa in uh, Boston all the time. He's like, submit your mixes, submit your mixes. And really? we're going to pick some oh, guys. Like just any, like any DJ. Yeah. Any like, DJ. Oh, wow. Yeah. He'll submit say, a mix and then like he narrows them down. Like and an open call. On. Like, yeah. yeah. No open way. casting call. That's, that's dope. dope. Yeah. So yeah. he, he's, he's like, yo, I'm, I know he did one recently. 
And he had even said, he's like, yo, he goes, I the, love the last one was so successful. He goes, these three DJs now have like residencies at all these like big night event spots in Boston, yeah. was, like five different venues. That's dope, man. That's the, uh, I love that concept because I feel like not that many people do it. And yeah. there's people that assume that that doesn't exist. Yeah. So hearing that someone yeah. does that. Well, awesome. We do like something similar for uh, our radio show on, on Fade. You know, we, we all did all that. Say, yeah. Yeah. We did that during COVID. Yeah. Um, we were just like, yo, let's make something fun. People are home. Let them record a mix and submit yeah. it. And then we'll have a guest on the radio show. And bro, it was fucking insane. Yeah. The, 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 the turnout was crazy to the point where here we are three years later and we're st we still have a weekly guest. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there and the line is insane. Like, yeah. look at the, the I don't know where the where the uh, I haven't updated is. it. But yeah, it's all the way through September. So, yeah, someone yeah. was like, yo, I want to uh, do a mix. I'm like, let's do it. And then I was like, all right, we're good. We'll, we'll be Obviously on we in first and then <laughs> yeah. they submit it. And then if it's, you know, another yeah. good reason, another good way, like especially in L.A. especially is. If you got guys that'll show up at your gig and spend money on tables, oh yeah, you just hit a promoter up and be like, "Yo, I, I got four tables booked, guaranteed. Yeah. If you put me on, they'll put you on." Oh, they'll put you on, no question. Or you they'll can put buy, you, you can on. Buy, if you got the, you know, if you're got the income for it, yeah, go buy a table. <laughs> it's like, yo, let me DJ. There's a guy <laughs> that does that. Like, there's a couple of them that's been going to like Vegas and does like the big rooms and they'll open for like the headliners and they'll spend like 50 grand. That's crazy. What? Yeah, dude. They spend 50 grand. On I mean, the this table. is like, they're not, yeah. Like they don't need to be, you know, like they, they probably, their goal is not to be like a club DJ or anything, but they just want to do it for fun. What? You know? It's wild, dude. Like I've, I've been hearing a lot about this. I haven't heard about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to ask too, um, cause I get asked a lot, not a lot, but I've been asked before like, yo, um, who's like the, new like up and coming like open format djs oh yeah we and that's about a this. pretty tough question to answer because I, mean, I, I know a few let's you know michael paul micah uh, um, young boy and um uh, incredible dj but like he he grew up listen you know idoli idolizing like vice and stuff like that so we literally I'm saw him, like to, his career like blossom yeah like you know, and yeah, it's still going like, super, yeah you know. super young but I, I haven't heard a lot lately like the only ones that just because the pandemic and then just like getting out and hearing other people personally but like you know um i talked about it before, recently in a, a another pod with uh, spider but um arcade you know arcade yeah that, that's 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 my favorite guy right now like but like, i'm talking like when i mean young i mean 25 and younger yeah. see I don't, I don't even know any like arcade is what in his 30s right yeah. and I, I love arcade yeah. that's our guy but but i don't see him as a up-and-coming yeah. guy like he's I already doing like his thing another guy that kind of like start like blowing up a lot is uh uh cases out of florida and you know he, he's hmc boy but he's but not i'm saying i'm talking young 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 he's like, like in his 20s but he's talking fresh out the womb i'm yeah, talking I don't, yeah i don't know i'm talking yeah, like young, when young. we yeah, started djing 17, 18, 19, 20, early, like, yeah, I started our, our when I was days. 19. This is, no, this, I mean, there's like, I think, I think what, what I mean is when we were, well, when we started DJing, we, we weren't open format DJs. We yeah. were just DJs. Yeah. yeah. And you thought, you know, we grew up to, okay, you watch the DJ at the house party, at the wedding, and they play records and they, they go play every genre. Yeah, yeah. That's just a DJ. Yeah. It's not. A hip hop. I didn't know what a hip or oh, you're a hip hop DJ or you're a house DJ. To me, I just wanted to be a DJ. So yeah. I I grew up collecting uh, freestyle and yeah. and hard yeah. house. All, Mark all. B. Poogie Bear is a big LA scene. I, I, hip hop as well. Yeah, not hard but house all, for me, but yeah, all across yeah, the, yeah. The, the the board. Not, I was the from exact underground opposite. to commercial. Yeah, I was underground. I was the exact opposite. I was like hip hop till you die. I was like backpacker. Yeah, I was me like, too, man, me if too. it ain't hip hop, I don't want to hear that. Oh, see, so that okay, so that's good. You're back. Uh, YouTube, I was a backpacker, right? but then I didn't. When I started working for uh, hiphopsite.com, like I remember that yeah. Warren Peace and mm -hmm. Peace site. That's when I learned about more commercial music through Warren, and I was like actually opening for him. Well, I book I got booked a couple um, like raves in Phoenix uh, yeah. with Z Trip. Um, it was a the guy he had a record shop called Swell Records, right, right. Uh, Russell Ramirez, and he would put us on like a hit, like a side room. Same. Like I did a side a room. Of, I did those but raves. So, yeah. so, so going to those, then I would be more exposed to certain things. And I'd be like, yo, this stuff's actually not that bad. Like I, I like some of these records. And then I would, like you said, then I would kind of start collecting, collecting some of these shit. records. Yeah. And then that kind of, 
Yeah, I mean, and then like obviously, you know, the whole like AM, you know, era. Yeah, so I think that that's kind of the the, the topic is like, I don't know if there's that 18, 19, 20 year old DJ that wants to be the next, obviously rest in peace AM, but like AM and like what Vice yeah. is and like think or what we are, all of us, you know, like be able to travel, play Vegas, play uh, every, you know, multiple places, but playing uh, different genres. Now I feel like it's big money EDM. I want to be like Marshmallow. I want to be like Diplo. I want to be like, or it is hip hop, yeah. you know, there's, but I don't know if there's that young generation that wants to do it all. Yeah. And I, and I, it, I, I obviously I they exist. They're out there. For no, sure. they're out yeah. there. I just, just like, not on our radar. I think, you know, but who, that one kid, who, though. who do they look up to? Like who, I mean, there's like a, they Bra should oh, be Brandon on our Duke. radar. Like we should Brandon know Duke. about these kids. Yeah. Brandon Duke is, uh, in his like early twenties. Cause he, uh, he was on a, he did the Goldie, uh, awards, whatever. Oh, okay. And then, uh, he's, he's a dope DJ, but he does more club stuff now. I, cause I follow him. Okay. So, but you know, that's the only one I can really think of. Yeah. The of only youngster I can think of is that girl, DJ Michelle. DJ Michelle. Oh, she's from like Australia, but she yeah. like cuts with her, yeah. with her dad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And she yeah. kind of reminds me like in the style, like caper. Oh yeah, Keep yeah. Know, it's kind of so that vibe. Hard. She plays like a really, really electric, eclectic, yeah. you know, mix of music. But I don't know. I never, I, I, I've never heard. That's the other thing. I mean, too, if you, like you guys are out people. there, holler at us. You know. Yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> seriously, because I want to know where, where y'all at. Because it really, it, you know, you guys start doing pe it when people submit their mixes for uh, headlines. Start taking their age. <laughs> yeah, how old are you? <laughs> send us your bio. <laughs> yeah, dude, send us your bio, age, sex. <laughs> no, nah, because you know, I, I was sure, just, though. I was just curious because, because even. Um, a few years ago when I was still like on the radio and I was like kind of on my way out, Jimmy still, the, the PD was like, he was like my, the hardest part of my job is finding talent. And I was like, really? I was like, this is everyone wants to be on the radio. Cause I yeah. came from radio and he was like, no, like nobody wants to be on the radio. Like yeah. he goes, kids want to be famous on YouTube at this time. It was like pre Instagram. Yeah on YouTube, on this, on that. And I was just like, oh shit, it makes sense. He goes, none of these kids are idolizing any of these radio jocks. Yeah. I could tell you time. about a, a success story that I know that you know of. Uh, so when I was on the radio mixing in Phoenix on uh, Power 92.3, uh, there was a dude on the street team. Street and, um, time? Street time. Street time. <laughs> he was, uh, um, you guys know him as Bootleg Kev. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah course, Kev was yeah. on the, the the street team, that's and like guy. you know, and now I mean Kev's yeah. huge. No, but but that's not my point. He this is like you know what I mean. He came yeah. up when radio was like radio. That's true. That it's totally different beast now. Anyway, that my, comp, my my boss, old boss, said that back then, and I was like, damn, I didn't think about that. Like he was just like, yeah, like the the new generation wants to be famous, and they know they can be famous like this and they can just one thing to go viral and they're famous and, and that's what they want to try to aim for. Yeah. They don't want to well, be then, on the radio. And I was like, damn, yeah. that's, that's like my girl I, all the time. She'll show me like videos of like uh, these dude. There's a couple of different ones. She'll be like, Oh, this mashup's really cool. And she'll like yeah. DM it to me. And then I'll see it. And it's this guy doing like a mashup of like, I don't know, like whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. But then I'm like, but, what else has this guy got? Like, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not I mean, discounting smart, it, but it's like, yo, like, I want to hear yeah. you play a set. Yeah. Like, but a lot of those guys that like blow up off TikTok or reels, whatever, like they eventually go into like, you know, like learn more production. Yeah. You know, I think that's the goal they're striving for these days. Like, that's why we don't, I don't, that's why we don't, I don't think we know about these younger open format guys or just DJs. Right. Like I just, yeah. yeah. I'm, and I'm honestly clueless. Like I, I don't know where they, where they are and i'm wondering because sometimes people are like oh like i remember omar back in the day at town always asking us, he like, would ask next? like who's yo next? who's next who's the, like the yeah. young one and i'm thinking like well i don't know because everyone i know that i could recommend is our age yeah. Yeah. so like who's young and that wants to do open format i didn't I had no one yeah so. i agree with you i think everyone's just trying to get famous overnight off of like i just feel viral, like people know video. people know what people make now so yeah. it's just yeah. like of course, I want to be like uh, John Summit. I want to be like so and so. I want to be like Marshmallow. I want to be like, you know. But that's the like advice I give people too. Like, it's like, yo, like, want to start like, you know, like, getting into clubs. I want to start DJing. I was like, 
learn how to produce, man. Like, first and foremost, you know, hand in, goes hand in hand with the DJing, but yeah, like, learn how to produce. Cause yeah, I mean... I wish I did. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I put my disco EP out <clears throat> over 10 years ago. It was, oh, in, yeah, it was yeah. in 2012, but it didn't get me any gigs. Yeah. Got me nothing. It was too eclectic. It just it, it, it got me ahead of a couple time. pats on the back, which was cool, and I was and I love that. But at the same time, like I, everyone's like, you got to make stuff that sounds more like what's hot, which was, at the time was Dirty Dutch. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I'm like, but I don't know how to make that. Like I don't mm. I don't know how to make that. And so it was kind of like, so then I stopped making, and everyone was like, well, why don't you make more music anymore? I'm like, man, I'd rather just like make bootlegs and edits of like the records that are already hot in the yeah. club now. Yeah. And be able to play those different versions of the records that are hot now and. I mean, I've gotten booked off just making edits. I'm like, well, shit. Yeah, yeah making that. music's tough, man. I, ga I gave up making it's music. It's tough. I mean, you got to <laughs> really, like, have something and then, like, I don't know. But it, it, I, that, yeah, it, sometimes you lead down that whole rabbit hole of, okay, well, then how many of those people, like John Summit and all these other guys, how many of them are, like, even really making their own music? Yeah. You yeah, know? And it's just, true. I don't know. Well, I think John Summit is. And if you uh, say anything about, you know, him producing his own music, he'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he? Is, is, I'm not is saying that, that he does that or happen? doesn't. I'm just no. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, example. he called out, you know, Melo, like about doing like a UFC match. Or something. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> uh, speaking of edits, man, I have another question. <sighs> okay. From uh, Bruce Briscoe, do you guys play EDM, which is country house? <laughs> EDM. <laughs> um, I have a few in my sets, you know, like. Especially when I do Vegas, you know, the, the Morgan Wallen edits and like, those are probably it. I and just then, played one, um, a Morgan Wallen cases. Uh, ED. I, I think I played the case. No, is or the cases one with the, what's the one with the Avicii over it or under it? Yeah, that was, I think that's, that's cases. cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I played that one. That one's good. Um, unless, in unless I'm in like Nashville. Or like somewhere in, in Texas. I mean, I did the Shania Twain one about five years ago. I still, yo, that still bangs. <laughs> and then Diplo played it. Yo, you at, know what's uh, crazy is uh, what's crazy is um, there's a club in Vegas. I won't say the club, but I played it in. Uh, I played it last year, and um, uh, in my set, it was there was like 95 percent hip hop, and I played like you know a few big room records just to get that you know just to yeah, get yeah. the 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 uh the sp the uh confetti yeah, and you know just to, you know just to get a couple drops in there and um i ran that and uh, everyone loved it and um the next uh the next day um Complaint. i got a call and they were like yo i heard you played country music last night and i was like huh and i knew exactly the record that i played yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah. one that i played at the time i mean what morgan wall was the same what, club i play what's that is it the same club i played you've definitely played it okay and um and uh, yeah, and so when it was time to uh, get back on the books, they're like, "Yeah, they're gonna skip you this rotation." <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's, you know bro, what's crazy the fact that I, one song can like fuck your booking up is pretty wild. And you know what's crazy is especially because it's one one person's opinion, bro. Like, and that's exactly a host it. or a waitress. And someone the, can say one fucking thing and it ruins your shit. And that's the funniest part because the set that I played the time before, I also played it. And didn't they were like, yo, he killed it. It was done. It, I was like, cool. And then, yeah. And then, yeah. Just but it, yeah, it took me four months to get back on the calendar. That's, that's the struggles of a Vegas club DJ, man. <laughs> I, was like, I think Damn, that's bro. the thing that people. I was like, what realize? about them other ninety nine songs that I played that night that everyone loved? Like, I think that that's a, one of the things that people uh, should really realize when they come see us play in Vegas and hear our super safe <laughs> sets yeah. it's for that reason like it they don't fuck around these fucking yeah. managers give reports at the end of every yep. set and all they want they want nothing more than to attack the dj and they have like cards where they fill out like with like the waitresses blah blah, blah. like yo it's crazy dude yeah it's insane like yo like what but at the same time like i was like all right well it is what it is like at the end of the day like i'm gonna do like i i don't try to like I don't try to like go against the grain, but at the same time, like that's the whole point of like, of, you know, being a DJ is having your own style and having your own things and like having your own edits. Like yeah. I played something that I made yeah. for the crowd that I thought they would love. And they did love it because one person didn't love it. Didn't mean the rest of the building didn't love it. And so I guess the satisfaction was seeing Diplo play that at, uh, uh I think I took a video too. Was yeah. it he, stagecoach? He it. Yeah. It was stagecoach. But even before that I was out and, um, 
Arizona for a waste management yeah. Super Bowl, and he played a party and he played. I took a video yeah. and he played your um, uh, journey edit too, yeah. which I love. Yeah, so. Diplo uh, also gets away with like uh, no Diplo. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do no wrong. He could do whatever he wants. Yeah. But seeing the crowd reaction on a video like that, and then I'm like, it was kind of like, okay, well, you know, it sucked that that happened to me. Yeah. But at the same time, knowing that you made something and there people there there's proof that people loved what you made. That's cool. Your <laughs> um, your edit the unwritten. Yeah. Oh, still. What's that, Natasha? What I is still, it? That's people, another banger. People hit me every weekend. Bro, like, I, I, every time. I play that all the time and like. I, I get a couple like when I drop it because, you know, you drop it from the top. You have like a little one or two bar yeah. uh, drum and then it, and then it drops. And um, I've seen like dudes look at me like where they're at. They're at a table or on the dance floor. They look at me like, what, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And then the moment like it jumps on and all the girls start every singing girl. every never fails. They sing the shit out of it. And then like. The dude's just the, like, oh shit, okay. The build up. What am I missing? Yeah, you know? exactly. It's that's in that's one of my favorites. They didn't watch the hills growing Thank up. You. It's what? <laughs> they didn't watch the hills growing up. Yeah. Well, you know what's crazy too is you know you you're always told play what the girls want and the guys will stay yeah. and spend money. And so it's just like I always try to keep that mentality. Like when even a lot when I'm making it, it's like what's another like sing along girl edit that I can like make and whatever. Yeah. Like I just made a um a Rihanna uh, edit that you know be on the site soon. And uh, that was just another one. I was Exclusive. like, all right, uh, uh, um, uh, right now. Nice. Yeah. So just like, okay, like girls love that song. Like, um, I don't know, but yeah, uh, some someone once told me that too. They're like, yo, play for the girls, and the guys will come. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, hello. Hey, oh, oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Someone just asked me recently. They're like, you play for. Like when you're playing for a crowd, do you like play for the girls or the guys? And I was like, dude, I mainly like want to play for the girls but obviously both like yeah i i, I, I try to find a really good good like, balance i had a i had a security guard come up to me a highlight room last week and he's like yo the ta the guy over here wants to hear young Dolph," and i'm like i mean i got it it's really isn't the crowd for that but you know i was like before the end of the night like i'll make sure i play it before he leaves which i did and sure enough as soon as i put it on everyone was like yeah, bro. How do you, this, this record's a buzz killer, but yeah. it was it was towards the end of the night. People were already starting to leave. I was like, you know what? How do you deal with uh, requests that doesn't you know it doesn't fit your set or the room, but it, it comes from someone important, like whether it's a manager, the owner, or a mat, the biggest spender in the club? Like, how do you deal with that? I mean, I'm all, me personally. If the manager asks me to play it, it's getting played. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You know, if uh, if a security guard comes you don't up, you want that bad report. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If a security guard comes up, nine times out of ten, uh, the they're security guard tipped. got they got tipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And they're like, you yo, this table. And I'm like, yo, why don't you split that tip with me, and, and then I'll get that on. Also, like, if you if you're gonna do that right for the spender, also have something prepared, ready to go. Yeah. Because you know that song's gonna you know flop or whatever, right? Because yeah. it's not going well where you're playing at the moment. Have something ready to go, and you just go right after. Yeah, yeah I, just build it back up. Yeah, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I like, I really can't get into that. Like, it's gonna really fuck shit up. Or sometimes I just don't care and I'll play it. Yeah, depends. Every every situation is. It's different. like I'm playing like a uh, house set, and then someone's asking for a uh, little baby freestyle. I'm like, what the hell? But dude, it's so funny that you ju you just said that. I literally had that. S I played that record on Saturday when I was in Cleveland. Same thing. Manager came up and was like. This table right here is a birthday. They want to hear that when we bring oh. the sparklers out. Literally thirty seconds What's later. What's crazy is a hundred is sixty BPM. So yeah. I was able to like actually you can drop it, it with the house set, <laughs> and then like I came back. And you can actually back mix into it into a house yeah. set. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of worked out, but yeah. That's so crazy. But well, you guys. I mean, I only had it happen to me a couple times, but you guys used to have that, like that experience all the time with Don Johnson. Yeah. Oh, that was well. Yeah. A lot of people, not even just him, bro. Like Don Johnson. Him, you would have a folder, and yeah. it and it had all the rocks and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But like, there's a, there was a lot of people that you, you knew what they Dana liked. White, and you just had to know Floyd, um, Phil Ivy, that one dude that's on the run. <laughs> bro, there was at one point, at one point a few years ago, playing at a Vegas club was the worst shit in the world. Like. And there's a couple clubs that were like this. And it was like presentation oh, after that, presentation oh, yeah. after presentation after presentation. Every presentation had a theme song or a song to go with it. So it wasn't just 
Fireman, I'm on a and boat. This coming out. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, dro- bro, you Rocky. could not get into a set. Yeah. One of the clubs, that, both actually, both of those clubs don't exist no more. Yeah. Before Stingery uh, in San Diego, that they, they kind of were going down that same road. Yeah. They're Darth Vader, Star Wars. Uh, and I honestly, like, I mean, I don't say, like, we're the pioneers of it, but we definitely, like, perfected the way to get in and out of those because we, you know, we've done them so many times. But all that theme stuff came from Europe. But, yeah, like, I'm glad that era is kind of done. Yeah. There's a few clubs. Actually, there was a club I played at recently. I, felt, I don't remember where, and they were doing, like, theme shit. They're like, oh, can you play blah, blah, blah for this? I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, what year is this? <laughs> yeah, I still get, like, a random request, and I'm just, like, for a theme, like, or, or a presentation. I'm like, ah, here we Rocky, go. Rocky, 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 go, 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 right now, right now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> they got, I haven't played Rocky in years or any of that shit. I would go Rocky into uh, Be Faithful because, like, you know. <clears throat> And you just get them right there, dog. That's funny. All right, next question. Next question. What do you got? Some, any, uh, well, this will, we got a long one right here. Uh, Miles Bonita, how much fun is too much? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how much fun is too much fun, Miles. Us at Golden Guy in Japan. That's too much fun. Oh, yeah, that actually, that, those videos, that was like when I got the most FOMO, I was like, you know, I just came from Asia a month ago. They're not going to give me FOMO. And then they were like, all at all my friends, like golden guy. I'm like, fuck. So golden guy is like the name of a little area where all the bars are. In all Shinjuku. the bars are literally like yeah, in Shinjuku, like four, four to six, to tops. six yeah. tops. Okay. So like if you're with a party of six, you need to find an empty bar or else you can't fit. Oh wow. Fire bro. Like they're all unique. They all have their own little character amazing so we we went into one then went into another went into another and it was just so we found like a jazz one and like the guy was obsessed with like miles davis and then miles was like that's my name i was named after him and the guy's like no way he's blown away anyway we got so smacked me and it was amazing like we met up with miles medina and um scratchy scratchy you were there right scratchy yeah scratchy was there at the golden guy night Yeah, yeah yeah Uh, I, I'll obviously asking because I don't remember much. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I mean. How much fun is too much fun, bro? Ended up getting so drunk. We went over to One Oak to see uh, Sinatra mm-hmm. and then Koki and all the homies met up. Uh, you know that big streamer, Kai? He's like the biggest streamer oh, yeah. on Twitch. Oh, he shit. pulled up. No way. Yeah, and he was oh, wow. recording in there. Oh, um, wow. He. So anyway, we didn't talk to him, but he was in yeah. like he was there. But. Dope. But, bro, we were going so crazy. And I was mixing everything, so just blacked out. Like, the next oh day God. was, like, full-on post-party depression. <laughs> PPD. Like, <laughs> didn't even want to – I didn't want to exist anymore. <laughs> like, it was just like – and that was the day of the gig, too. So imagine how rough that's that was. That's too much fun. But, yeah, that's too much fun, Mr. Miles. <laughs> that's you. like uh, Hickey's and Dry Humps, uh, Sunday brunch. Oh, that did. was too much fun, that too. That was too much fun, I'm too. Not gonna lie, Miles had too I much fun there that Sunday brunch, huh? I'm yeah. sad I didn't make that. That was, that was yeah, fun I, want, I wanted to go. I had just got home and I was like, should I go? And yeah, I like eh, it, it just wasn't the right day. I was like, I don't think I can handle the drive to San Diego right now. And then yeah. but then after seeing everyone down there, I was like, damn, yeah, man, it's I fun, just man. made it happen. We rarely get to play parties like that. Yeah, where it's like music DJs and music driven. So, yeah. you know, I didn't want to get that drunk, but we yeah, got that party drunk. looked fun. Miles yeah. was pretty smacked. You know what? Like <laughs> when it's too much fun, I, I hate this part because, you know, like. I'm on a, I try to be on a strict diet and like, I eat like probably like 50 chicken wings after that. Oh yeah. You drank some more and then just kept yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> but that yeah, that's too much fun. Yeah. Terrible question. Miles. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. What's the next? Oh, Brian V. Oh, where's what Brian? do y'all think the 2023 summer hip hop anthem is? Cause there isn't one for all the masses. Shit. Yeah. I, I agree. Like I don't, there isn't man but i what's, mean I, what's like the big i think fuck you mean is pretty big not i don't think it's a that's for, yeah that's for it which one fuck fuck you mean fuck you mean gonna gonna no. heard it? i like i honestly <laughs> i'm most excited to drop uh the one margarita song <laughs> i think that <laughs> it's what's just a the funny one margarita song, song? give me one margarita <laughs> one margarita <laughs> i'll open my legs <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I don't know that one. What is, I have a whole set with it. I do like um, it's all the female stuff. Sexy red popping. ski. Yeah, all into those Pound are Town into one margarita, and one mar- margarita into uh, I do. Dun, 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 dun. No, I don't do that mix. Oh my god, tequila. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No but margarita no. into the what was that old joint with Pharrell? 
<laughs> Which one? <laughs> I think it's a uh, that's Sleepy Brown, but like, oh, yeah, who wait. is it? It's called Margarita. Yeah, I think Pharrell produced it. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Hip hop, hip hop, right now kind of like has a short lifespan. It's so weird. Like, yeah, to me, but it's all like, yeah, like it's all like, one, it's a lot of Jersey Club, hip hop Jersey Club, you know, songs like. Um, oh, I just want to rock is kind of. I, I I would call that like an anthem. I know it's a little me. older. Yeah, it still works. It's a little older, but I mean, that's still one that will definitely get yeah, the get the crowd works. going. Um, What's the other one? Um, a lot of uh, Ice Spice. The new one's spice. hot. Um, it's called Sleepy Br- it is Sleepy Brown. Sorry. Uh, Sleepy Brown and Pharrell, Margarita. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> Delhi is a new one that just came out, but it's like, you know, it's, I don't know if it's going to be a summer banger. But I mean, I've been playing like like earlier in the night, the, what, the new Tyga West Coast Weekend. Because it has the old. It's a feel good. The yeah. Old, yeah. All about, it's Tupac. It's all about me. Yeah, vibes. yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I just, that song was huge in Hawaii when I was there. And it's like the week it came out. And it was. Yeah. The Tyga song? song. Wow. Yeah. Wow. With Blast, Tyga, I think YG. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I will say this. I, the way music moves nowadays, like. I feel so out of the loop, bro. Like uh, I was walking around Tokyo with with uh dre sinatra and and dj sinatra yeah. the S- sinatra and sinatra oh, the, oh, law yeah. firm <laughs> yeah. he said sinatra and sinatra the law firm <laughs> uh and they were you know talking about new music yeah bro i'm t- i'm talking like nine out of the ten songs they mentioned i've never heard in my life yeah there's a and lot i was of- just like and they were singing the line and she's like oh with well, this i think this was and i was just like whoa yeah, they're up on um, their shit out. Man. i am so checked out yeah yeah, I, I think it also varies just like, you know, like like where you're playing. Yeah, of like, course, yeah. I don't play the rooms where they want new shit. Like it's if you same, play, if same. I play, and I mean new, new, like even uh, when I just played this past weekend in Vegas, fuck you mean gonna, which is not that new, but like no one knew it. Yeah, yeah. it's all like the younger like they kids didn't, and like athletes. It, it did nothing for me. And I was yeah. like, damn, this is like the number one song yeah. like on Spotify, shit like that. I mean, like hip hop summer anthem. Yeah. Honestly, uh, my biggest woes this weekend, woe this weekend, it's not a hip hop song. And, you know, it's Peso Pluma. Yeah. And because he was there like last weekend yeah. in Vegas too. And, you know, I knew and, but yeah, like, but after that I go, usually go into like, I bring it back from top, you know, from like, the and I, I'll drop mm-hmm. like a hip hop song after. I still but. haven't played Peso Pluma in the club yet. I played it a few times. I, I actually, only played it at You're Not Dead. Why I call it Peso Pluma? <laughs> I played it. Well, I, I, I recently Pluma? played it at uh, the Bungalow in uh, Huntington Beach. <clears throat> it was a five-hour set. Who did? I did. And uh, that was one of the records. I was like, eh, I don't think any, anybody here is going to really care for this record. And then I was like, you know what? It was like hour number four. And I'm like, you know what? I was like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of time going on right now. Like, yeah, yeah, th- yeah. I, There's a lot of music I need to play. I was like, yeah. why don't I just play it and see how it goes? And it went, and I was like, holy shit. I did not expect that wow. to happen, and, and they loved it. And I was like, holy shit. You have what? a fire edit. The oh, thing. yeah, um, your Nirvana one. Yeah. It smells you. like Teen Spirit. I was in, I was in um, um, uh, uh, San Jose, what, like a month At and a half. At Rec Room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had just got off the plane, and um, as soon as I got off the plane, I was on the phone with my girl, and I was like, you know what? I was like, let me call you back. I was like, I just had an idea for an edit. And she's like, all right. And took the t- I, I went online i was on uh, youtube trying to find like a flamenco player who yeah. would who was playing nirvana and i couldn't find like a good one and i'm like screw it i'm just gonna take the intro to because it's the same it's the same the first three notes is the same as nirvana yeah, yeah. i'm like let me just see if i can't like just chop this up in ableton and you know manipulate it and then uh i played it that night in the club wow. yeah. and they were like holy they shit and so i think i saw like a lot of reaction videos uh from like friends I follow that were there. Yeah. And they were all like, yo, this is crazy. crazy. But yeah, just little ideas. But at the, at, the, at the end of the day, like, you know, just just little things to make, you know, just make your sets personal, yeah. you know. Yeah. So to answer that question, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pound Town. Brian, <laughs> Chef Brian V, we don't know. But uh, hit us if you know one. I, I, I guess the, the answer depends on the market you're yeah. playing. 
because I feel like that's kind of every market has different songs yeah. that work. Yeah. Every every market has different parties that well, something it, might work. Something even different might not. styles of songs, like yeah. you know. Also, although I mean, this is out. It's like not a summer anthem, but "Slut Me Out" also was a big song for me. Yeah, "Slut Me Out," like mm-hmm. the whole crowd was singing it. This at EBC, mm-hmm. you know, of all places. There you go. So that's well, "Slut Me Out." <laughs> slut, slut, slut. <laughs> like they sang that whole part. So no, trust me, I got put onto that maybe like what three, four months ago in Alabama. I I never heard the record. Never like, yeah. dude, this is like the biggest record out here. As soon as I played it, it was like, holy shit. Yeah. But it just goes to show you that. You know, a lot of songs are regional before they break out. Yeah, no, for sure. Or, or they make it to TikTok, and I don't even have the app. Yeah, I am, I am that old. I never go on TikTok. Yeah, I, get I don't even have the app. All the time, but I, I don't want it. the app. I actually, go, I go through um, Spotify's uh, TikTok hot list, whatever, and I'll go through it. Oh, they have. Oh, they have a playlist. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So I'll go through it. <laughs> oh, right. well, I'll check like <laughs> rap either. caviar, but that's it. Same yeah. rap caviar. There's rap caviar doesn't help me much. No, it's it's outdated, right? Am I tripping? No, there's another one. There's one with like newer stuff. I forget the name of it. Let's get lit or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Huh. Okay, I gotta check get the TikTok turned. one. I don't know. Uh, next. Next question. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from Rated R. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's a good I one. We touched on this a little, but. Shout out Rated R. We saw him in, in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this question <laughs> was birthed from uh, him seeing us in San Diego. So go ahead, ask it. Do you think y'all best? <laughs> you think y'all DJ best when drunk or sober? <laughs> well, it depends who you ask. That is true. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. it's good because fashion is sober now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's good for him It'll to be here this. in. Uh, Two and a half weeks. A oh, year shit. and two and a half yeah, weeks? Yeah, August 16th will be Should one year. celebrate with a tequila shot. Yeah, right? <laughs> a whole bottle. <laughs> so how do you feel? I Honestly, mean, like... Because this is what I heard. Not to cut you off, but what I heard was people that gave up drinking, the first three months were the toughest. Yeah. And then it just kind of became easier. I would say not that long for me. Maybe the first few gigs, the first three gigs, yeah. No, I wouldn't say the thir- first three months, but... Like now, like I feel more comfortable than ever. Like, like, like even like I said, just, you know, on that other question, you know, five hour set, I was like, man, I'm, I'm going to struggle trying to do a set for five hours. And honestly, I was like, damn, this went a lot easier than I thought it was going to I feel like a five hour set, you'd struggle way more with drinks. Yeah. Oh yeah. (laughs) Drinking for five hours will be, will tear you down. Cause you see, piss, like, you, on the floor. Times, you see like the, like reactions and stuff on maybe like one particular song and you're like, Oh yo, they're feeling like this vibe right now. So you're like, let me get more into this vibe. And yeah. you're just, you're just more aware of like what's going on. But at the same time, like I can recall a couple times where I would just, I fucking trashed. Like I, I've never had a manager say that my set sucked cause I was trash. Yeah. I never had that. But, um, I've definitely passed out during one of my sets once it was South during? by Southwest and they purposely, you know, it was in Austin. Yeah. They shout Donnie and Osh. They got me fucking. Oh lit. yeah. 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 Oh, like they I, purpose. I blacked yeah, out at probably, like 7 PM. They probably want to book you again for that. Like legit. I played a, I played a back to back with yeah, JCO sure. <clears throat> and, uh, and I played, we were doing like three records each and he took the three records and I had a three record pause and that three record pause Dusted, on the floor just passed out wow. that's crazy yeah that's passed out same with me in austin shout out to ash and chicago when we play for rudy oh my god yeah yeah i feel like for me for me um i dj better buzzed yeah buzz not sober like, yeah. and not yeah. drunk I, for like sure. i i need a couple drinks take the edge off don't overthink have a look it wakes me up yeah. you know like yeah. it, i get more into it more energy and then and then um in a perfect world, I would just want to be buzzed all the time. Yeah. Unfortunately, that w- yeah. one drink will like take drink you over the hour, edge, and then a it, shot an hour and it fucks up your next day, yeah. which that sucks. Yeah. But DJing with a few drinks is, it, at least if you ask me, that's when I play the best. Yeah. One thing I will say though, like I'm older now, and so like my memory isn't as strong as it used to be. So, like there were a lot of times when I was drunk, I would be like, I knew what I wanted to play but I couldn't remember the name of the song. I couldn't remember like what to type to find the song. And I Dude, would just kill time. And yeah. I was like, and I'm like, man, I'm literally like the song just like about to end. And I'm like, uh, 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 and I literally have nightmares, like legit, like I fall asleep and I, and I am having like legit dreams, dreams of, of me too. letting the song run yeah. out. And I'm like, fuck. 
So Wait, that, that happens to me though. Like I, I le legit like go blank and like, don't remember. I like, I know what I want to play and I don't yeah. know the n title. Exactly. Don't even know how to search for it. It happens. Yeah. And it's not even the drinking It's my memory yeah. is just gone. But these days more than ever, I'm, I'm a, a little more aware and conscious of like what I'm trying to play and what I'm trying to find. And it's been a lot easier. So yeah. I don't know. It's gotta but. be more organized, man. That's why I like, you know, I but like, like that, you know, that, that's that's for sure. But that, you, do you feel sure. like you DJ better now or when you were drinking? Like, like, I know you're sober now, so I don't want you to like. Honestly, I thought I did just as good drunk as I did sober. So it makes but no the only difference now, I just feel like now I'm more aware of like what I'm playing versus before. Like, you know how many nights I, I will wake up or, ne or excuse me, mornings I'll wake up. And I was like, damn, I can't remember a I single play? thing yeah. I played last no, night. And I had sure. to go back and look to see what I played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I mean, if my sets were like an hour, hour and a half, I'll, I can go sober. Like I did yeah. it like this past Friday um, yeah. in Riverside. Like yeah. I had to drive there. It's like an hour away. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm not drinking. Like there's yeah. no way. Like it's, I have to drive an hour back. So I was just like, I was babysat one yeah, you know. I do pool party sober because I don't day drink. Oh, day yeah. drinking is the worst shit in the world to oh, me. Dude, That's my favorite. So too, I don't, man. I don't, I do pool party sober. And then night, uh, this past weekend, uh, Jordan, shout out Jordan again. Um, he came with me to to the gig and he tried to pour me a shot and I was like, no, I'm good. I'm gonna try to, like, I'm not gonna drink till I feel like I need it. Yeah. And I think like the good first 20, 30 minutes. I was fine. Energy yeah. was great. And then I started getting a little tired. I was also jet lag from yeah. Tokyo. I was getting tired. And I was like, all right, I think I need a shot. And he pour, poured me a shot and then, and then made me a drink. And yeah. then like an hour later, and that was kind of all I had an hour later, like four colors that comes in hot, <laughs> bro, gives me the biggest shots and they're <laughs> shot after shot after shot. That's what, that's and I kind of like, I kind of got bummed out. Cause I was like, man, I was doing so good. Like meaning like I knew I was going to be fine. Go to sleep, wake up feeling great. Yeah, I woke up with a hangover. I hit Zach like, you motherfucker, man. Like, we never intend <laughs> on blacking out. It just yeah. happens. Like, especially, like, when you have friends in town. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I'm just like, and you're just having fun, man. You yeah, know? I didn't black out, but I definitely was, like, dr drunker than I wanted to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was fun, man. And, and he knows. Yeah. Zach was even like, yeah, I need that history. Because, bro, I was playing, like, I was really focusing on, like, Sing along, yeah. so I wanted I wanted to feel like the crowd was with me, yeah. and I wasn't gonna play stuff that I know they weren't gonna sing along because right. then I'd feel dull and flat, and I wanted just like yeah. that energy, and I and I wanted Zach to know that I know you just gotta like know your limit. Yeah, you just gotta know your limit. Like no, for where sure. Where you don't like, yeah, where you don't like bomb. But yeah, I think Rated R saw us in San Diego and was like. <laughs> These well, he was filming, so uh, yeah, he was. You guys <laughs> definitely look schmack. You totally did five. Oh, I mean, I've seen, I mean, you see the pictures I posted. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Me and Miles can keep our eyes on But it was a good time. No, great um, time. Amazing time. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is for Eric. When are you running back to have a nice set, T? Oh, uh, <laughs> when am I running back to have a nice set, T? Shit. Soon? Maybe new color way, color yeah. Wait, did we do black and white? We did black and white. Oh, I mean, like a olive green, a green. Yeah, I yeah. Don't know. We might do it soon. Yeah, maybe a gray. new merch coming. Heather I like gray. that. Uh, no, I went in. I went in. Uh, I saw you saw it yesterday. I had one of my old HMC shirts on. I went in storage. Dude, yeah. Actually, I need. Dude, to I have find a problem with t-shirts. That's a dope shirt. I have a I problem with t-shirts, and I've been like, I love t-shirts. Yeah, that's like my biggest like. More than anything, like I, I don't have a problem buying a T-shirt, like maybe yeah. one, at least one a week. Yeah. That's and like uh, the, so I like lately I've been putting them in storage and then like I went in to go find something and I was came across like the tie dyed long sleeve, oh, yeah, uh, a couple one. others. And I was like, all right, let me let me pull these out. Well, I'll, I'll, so I have a rule in the house right now. If if I bring three shirts in, I got to take three shirts out. Yeah. OK, dude, for real, man. I'm so, so cluttered, too. I need yeah. to do that, too. Yeah. But I, I also did that. I, I used to. uh I used to let go. I used to hold on to shirts, then have a hard time letting them go. But when I would let them go, I would just get them out of my face, mm -hmm. go to Goodwill, yep. don't care. And it's good shit, like yeah. good pricey shit, right? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I typically wear just stuff I make anyway. Mm -hmm. So I was like trying to clean it out and I was like, I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't want to wear That's like shit I'm not wearing anymore. So I bought like bins. Yep. So all I have like four stacks of bins of like 
old HMC merch, yeah. early try it shit, um, just stuff like fade, early yeah. fade yeah, stuff. All minor and all bins. that stuff. In yeah, bins they're in too, bins yeah. and they're in the garage. That's what I think about these days. Now I'm just like new shirts that I get. I'm like, because, you know, I've been buying like other vintage shirts, not just like, you know, band vintage shirts, but just like just vintage shirts in general, anything like Bob's plumbing, yeah. whatever. But I'm like, I love, that's my favorite. But then now it's like love bob i'm like you don't want to yeah <laughs> hey bob <laughs> you don't, i'm like looking at like the hmc sh- the hmc HMC shirt HMC HMC <laughs> i'm looking at like hmc shirts and i'm like damn this hmc shirt in 20 years is going to be vintage yeah. hmc and i'm like damn can't, right can't part with it <laughs> no you can't. can't part with it can't part with it uh, that's how i am I, anything no. that like is part of HMC or anything we were part of, I, I hold on to well, it. Even, even like though, Apple, like Apple stuff, like do like when the first iMac came out, wow, you have the shit. very first iMac, I had like an iMac shirt. Wow. It was dope. I got it from, uh, I, I think it was, I don't think it was Best Buy. It was some kind of like a Best Buy. And I got a shirt. Circuit City. I got a shirt with my <laughs> iMac. And now I'm like, damn, I wish I still would have had that yeah, shirt. Yeah, no, for sure. There's so much shit yeah. I th- let go that I wish I didn't. Yeah. today same 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 all so the promos much. we used to get at the record store oh yeah. my god bro early promos from radio you know yeah. fast bro every i i had crazy like dude i see like ross one doing this like rap thing and they holds up that and i'm like i had that shirt like yeah. literally promo only shirts yep. 50 cent and g unit and like i had a ton of no limit bro yeah. no limit that, that was, was a little right. bit before no my time shit. five to shit. like 800 easy especially like the radio you know promos. a lot of a lot of the priority record stuff yeah. bro huh anyway um, uh, yeah, uh, shirt coming new okay. colorway. He's on it. Next question for our dog Rivas. Your thoughts on Pioneer buying Serato and if we will start seeing more USB DJs? Yeah, that's a good question. Pioneer buying Serato. I mean, shit, I think that's a big move. I think, I think, um, if you can't beat them, I, buy I thought they already <laughs> owned them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but all, we all use Pioneer always. Yeah. Um, so it's all integrated and, um, so I, you feel like it's going to be uh, both like programs will be a, like a Serato box or record, you know, it's got to be know. one. Like, I don't know if much will change. I just they, think they might fuck, you know, all the other brands from having it. Yeah. It would be dope if they add the, um, the USB feature where you can sync the, you know, your playlist on USB on Serato. Yeah. So now that would be, be dope. And now we can get rid of the third party. Ah. Right? Yo, those yeah. third party ones don't even work half the time. I've oh, tried to do. Like I use them once. Do you use? You're gonna, I don't even remember the name of it. I use, uh, well, there was a record buddy. I, I think that became, was the one that I used. Became Lexicon, which I use now. That's what I use. It's yeah. good. It's legit. You just gotta, like, maybe it's an older version. To it. Yeah, you all, they, there's always updates for them, so I always update it. But yeah, man, I'm on it like every, like, Especially like before, like you know, a weekend gig, I'll do like the review, yeah. like upload the playlist. I don't know. Me personally, I still like, like one thing I'm good at was typing. Like I was like top <laughs> of the class in typing, got... so I li- I like typing on my laptop. Oh, I yeah, like, and I want to find someone. I'm like, gada 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 gada. It depends on the gig for sure. Like yeah. if we're doing pool, like if I'm doing a pool party, pool parties in general, like I'll do like yeah. USB. Because I guess I can speak on being like, obviously one of the newer guys on USB. I just. Yeah. Got on it like a few months ago, done a couple pool parties, not much, but man, um, I, I definitely see the potential. Like I can see if you have the three thousands and if you have all your shit organized, I can see how it's like, that's the, that's the, I think that's the key is organization. I think, I think bro, there's so much you can do. It's, and I still, I'm on HID mode, bro. I pulled up to the club this past weekend with like all these cables tangled and I'm in, yeah. in in the opener's way trying to plug in my my uh USBs to each CDJ the hub and I was just like damn well, the and clubs, then like yeah. all, all these guys just boop plug in yeah. plug and play that's yeah. definitely our fault we need to update our uh, our riders because <laughs> HID mode should be plugged already you know at the club but yeah. still like same thing I bring my shit plug everything while the you know you know, the opener is like playing and, you know, yeah, this, it definitely it like, is like, like so I was talking to miles, miles Medina is actually one of the first guys I've seen like do an open format set yeah. on it and like crush it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Oh shit, you can do this. Yeah. On, and it was at, uh, last year at, at the four color Zach's pool party for scam. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first time I seen him play, um, USBs and he was doing his, his whole, 
normal set. Yeah. His wordplay, his this, his that. And um, I was like, oh, my God. And then uh, later on, I had a conversation with him, and he, and he was like, honestly, you want to know why I got on USBs? He goes, I hate setting up my yeah. laptop. He I said, don't I, mind. He goes, that process, like setting up my shit, the wires, the HID mode, he goes, that alone made me not want to do yeah. it, and it made me get on it's USBs. Definitely like, and, and I was like, damn, like four killers, Zach's fully on and yeah. he crushes these guys. He still does it. the same shit. Like, yeah. They're like incredible on it. Insane, dude. So um, there's so it, it is being organized, knowing the CDJ, knowing, uh, cause I even showed five. I don't even use it that much. And I showed five, like yeah, yeah, a trick. The, I was like, Oh, I, I, I was wondering, I was like, damn, they need to add a prepare thing. I wish there was a prepare uh, folder for, uh, you know, for the CJ. It's like, yeah, it's right here. It's called tag. I'm like, Oh, and that <laughs> changed it. the game like, like ten levels. Like yeah. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. So you just literally just tag it. But yeah, dude, I've been tag, working. Tag, 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 tag. And I you legit can tag have them like all. Four new but how do you here. sift through, like you know, ten thousand songs? Here's the thing: you in two so, minutes trying to find like different songs. No, no, no. Like, so that, that's that's what I'm saying. You can search too. If you like, there's a search option on this three thousands. But also, like, you have to take whatever plays you have currently and um, currently, and then uh, copy it, make another one, and just take out all the fillers. Yeah, playlist is literally your... Th so that's the that's key, is say, having a key, set playlist. The key is to be s not even a set playlist. It's, it's multiple. Like, yeah. you have to be specific to the yeah. point of, like, whether it's BPM, 100 BPM yeah. hip-hop. 95 be like that specific yeah. yeah and or like specific to like west coast hip-hop down south yeah. hip-hop east coast hip-hop like very very specific and you know your serato playlist so you know kind of i'm not that specific because i i know how to bounce around i just go all right current what i play older stuff i play and and, and opener stuff yeah. and this like late night stuff um main big room edm mm -hmm. early big room edm yep. uh big room sing along like yeah, just yeah. like that and and you just fly right through and like you don't even need like those uh transition uh um records like we actually no because it's cdj yeah CDJ you can use wide it. so you go on wide and you just make your own transition yeah, dash like, it's, it, dash showed me that and i was dash, like holy yeah. shit and i was like damn dash kills it too yeah, he was yeah. one of the ones that that early was like you need to get on it yeah and he's obviously an open format dj but i know he he loves hip-hop more and i think he would get booked for all like the drake parties because yeah. like, he was like the hip-hop yeah. guy and i was like all right I, I i could i hear edm guy or house guys talk about usbs and, I, and we know they're on it but if i hear a hip-hop guy or open format guy yeah. talk i'm like i'm interested yeah. let me talk to me and yeah. he, he was showing me and i was like okay and and when i first got on it sh again shout yeah. out to dash he like helped me he sat with me and like yeah. we got on lexicon and and he showed yeah, me yeah he showed me lexicon too and then yeah. uh david uh david clutch clutch is yeah like clutch is another it. he's a beast he's been yeah. on it forever and he does hip-hop and house you okay know? and he's all right all right honestly it, it's fucking exciting again hey, it really is like just say saturday came downstairs on my way to the club with a little bag with my headphones with my keychain, with my two USBs. Oh my and that's God, how I here he in. goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, man, I, like, I don't have to go. Because you know, if I want to go to Rhino after, I don't have to run up to my room, drop my bag off. I just pull yeah. up. No, See, here's my thing. Those, those convenient, things like, never really concern me. Like, I'm not worried about that. Me, I'm, I'm more about just like, I want to be comfortable at my set. Like, so here's another thing I, I've been doing. You it, will, with time. Yeah. And there's another uh, USB I have, yeah. which is like you know, one terabyte, with like almost everything. That's not on the other ones, my main mm -hmm. like playlist, just in case someone was like, oh, can you play this? I'm like, oh, I have it on this one. Let me go yeah. find it. Yeah. And I utilize all four CDJs. I don't want to, like, you know, like this one's set up for like sound effects, blah, 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 loops and whatever. This one's like, oh, like house EDM and yeah. while I'm playing hip hop. R &D, yeah, I usually whatever. use that, that third CDJ to like put my water on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, yeah, that's it is one thing I love about it. Like they're all connected. So, yeah. bro. Anyway, um, next question. Uh, DJ Steve Spin said, what are five things you keep in your DJ bag other than the obvious? I keep it. Honestly, <laughs> keep Alto that thing Altoids. On me. <laughs> Altoids. 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 Okay. I got Altoids, hand sanitizer, 
uh, Advil. That's pretty obvious. All right, so this is how I feel. Let me tell you how I feel about this shit. I, especially Vegas. It's especially Vegas. Especially now. Yeah. Today's Vegas. It, they s don't care if you're fucking, you own the club. They're going to search the oh, shit yeah. out of you. Yep. So I started rocking because, you know, you travel with a backpack. Mm -hmm. My backpack has the Advil, the even melatonin because yeah. I had a hard time sleeping, the this, the that, all the chargers, all everything I travel with. Right. So now what I do to clubs, I rock a tote. Yep. I have a tote bag. And what's in my tote? Just my laptop, my charger, my HDMI, yeah, um, cables, my headphones. That's it. Oh, That's okay. it. Cause I was, cause I was going to the the bag I travel with. I was going to the club, bro. I'm sitting in front of the club. They're just searching it. This lady's opening every oh, bottle. Day, and yeah, and so they're annoying. like, oh, you can't bring these pills in, cause they don't know. There, there is people sneaking in drugs. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. I don't know, and I don't blame them. But I was just like, you know what? Fuck that shit. Like, yeah. Bro, I just have the tote. It's way more comfortable. Sense. People are like, oh, tote trendy. I said, no, let me tell you why I have a tote. Yeah, no, that it has nothing to do with looking like I'm at Whole Foods. It's, <laughs> I don't want to get searched and have to throw away Advil every gig and throw yeah. away Altoids. You literally, they throw them away. Yeah. They don't care. They're like, yo, we can't, you can't have this in there. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, I bring in a little headphone bag. But... I mean, in my traveling <laughs> DJ bag, this guy. he's like, it's in a fragment. All of a sudden, he's it's in a, a mass, fragment yeah, headphone fragment, bag. Uh, porter. <laughs> what, about, what about the big, the big fucking headlining guys that has someone bringing their, someone holding their USB and headphone bags? That's yeah, crazy, that's pretty right? funny. That's crazy. <laughs> but um, what else? Like, I mean, my traveling DJ bag, five condoms, I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Just per, kidding. Five condoms per weekend. That's why they call them five. Just kidding. Um, now we know. Yeah, the usual, like my toiletries. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary, like bandanas. Yeah, I always keep a pen. Like a, a pen, a, a yeah. Pen. I always have a pen. When you go, like, you, you know, never know when you need a pen. Like, you know, um, and then I always keep, a, a, I bring extra USB C cables with me. I keep five ah, on the. Because uh, my laptop has USB-C. I don't like the dongles if I don't have to use them. I yeah. Mean, you know, plug right in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep I keep those on, and I mean, I'm at least one a month. I forget. But yeah, if you're if you're traveling and and if you walk into the club with all your medicine and whatever else you carry on you, a tote is your friend because yeah. you put I put the tote in the backpack. Yeah. So I don't carry. It's not like same, I'm carrying same. extra shit. Yeah. My tote bag. It's like a, it's like a it's like a separation. Yeah, my tote bag is yeah. inside my travel backpack, and then yeah. I just pull it out. Yep. The backpack stays in the room. I I walk in with just DJ stuff. Yep. So when they look at my bag, it's just like just DJ stuff, and yeah. they're like, okay, go ahead. No, I like that. That makes sense. Um, what else, man? Like, yeah, just oh, dude wipes. Dude wipes. Yeah. Yeah, how many dude wipes? Baby wipes. <laughs> get the, 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 the home only. Dude actually, wipes actually are your get, friend. I get some. <laughs> you should, should get, get some, some for the road. Amazon, bro. Yeah. Dude wipes. I like that. Yeah, they're travel wipes. packets. Oh, okay. I have yeah. some in the bag. I'll give you one. All right. Yeah. They're hot. Um, what else? <laughs> uh, liquid IV. Have you tried oh, one? yeah. Like, yeah. Liquid or whatever IV. brand. Or what's the one? You, I need to get the ones. Uh, you Element. Yeah, L-M-N-T. That's a good one. But yeah, liquid stay IV Stay hydrated, still folks. Especially us, you know. There you go. All right. Uh, Bruce Briscoe. What do you say or do when your homie is playing a shitty set or sucking? <laughs> like, bro, you fucking suck right now. <laughs> Yo, my whole—I mean, you guys will call me out on the spot. I have, Eric would be like, five no, called. Yeah, yeah. He's called five's called me out. I was <laughs> like, damn, I thought I was doing okay. If I was like, but I'll, we only call five out when we know he's too wasted. Yeah, like we we all everyone knows he's a good DJ. So it's yeah. not like we're like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? You suck. It's more like, yo. Chill, bro. Yeah. And <laughs> I'll call best. myself out. Like I'll be on, like you know, I'll be like, I'll do, I'll fuck up a mix or like hit the wrong button, and like the people like you know, the crowd will look up and I'll say on the mic like, oh my bad, dog. I'm yeah, like, that happens. Start, start yeah, my bad. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Oops, Oops, my bad. <laughs> it was so funny. I, there was one night, um, <laughs> five was playing a highlight room. And I went to hung, hang out with him, and uh, Nick Ferrer rolled up, and there were a couple girls. That, I guess he knew in the industry, or whatever, and they wanted to get in the area behind five. So he was like, he Nick looks at me and he goes, "Is it cool to there?" I'm like, "I don't care. If I, he's five DJing as long as five's cool, it all good." So then they got like right up in the booth and they're like taking selfies and shit and taking pictures of their ass and shit. And then the one girl was like, "Tell him to play Bad Bunny," and I was like, "He's gonna play it." 
when he gets to it. Oh my god! I was like, that I'll was mention hilarious. it. I was like, I'll mention it. But you know, when he gets to it, he'll play it. And so she's like waiting, waiting, waiting. And then like her and her one other friend, it was three of them. Her and her one other friend, they were kind of, they were the kind of the ag ones. And the one, there was one, she was kind of quiet and they were being kind of chill. And then the quiet one out of nowhere just walks right up to both of us. She goes, you guys fucking suck. You're old. You don't know what's current. You don't know what's good. You don't know what's new. She's what? like, y'all should be playing Bad Bunny right now. And I was oh like, my God. first of all, Angry, yo, you just lost your privilege. <laughs> oh, she legit was like, I mean, first words out of her fucking mouth were, you guys suck. You're old. And wow. I was like, holy shit. And then she's I looked not, at her. She's not wrong. <laughs> I looked at her. I was she like, was who are you? Yeah. I was like, you ain't even supposed to be back here. And I was like, security, they got to go. Yeah. That's I was like, man. I hate that shit, man. When you try to be cool, let people that's hang. That's why I got hit with a line that night. Huh? <laughs> that's why I got hit with a line that night. You got hit with a line? Yeah. Oh. Dude, the craziest shit is, though, when, when other people say that. Like, if one of my friends was, t was like, yo, man, you're not really into it right now. I'll be like, yo, okay, cool. Like, I'm glad. Thanks for, like, letting me know. But, like. I think it's worse when people, like, you know you're doing I don't, good, and people are like, yo, man, you fucking suck we have because to, yeah. you haven't played my song. Yeah, also, the one we have, song. Like, we do, like, we have a different language, too. Like, we don't be like, yo, you suck. Like, we're like, yo, yo, let's give him a shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Let's go, let's go wake his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> wake his ass up. <laughs> I just look over at Scratch and be like, sheesh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess to, to answer the question is, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard because, you know, well, that, you close, don't want to bump someone out. With us, we can. Like, we'll be like, yeah. yo, man, like. <laughs> what was that dog yeah, yeah. But, you know like what yeah with other people of course but i tell you that. this much like i've heard some guys in like some other markets and i'm and i'm like damn like you know you know and they'll be like oh yo what'd you think of my set and i'll be like yo you know i thought your selection was really good yeah. but like you might want to like just work on your um like your mixes and your transitions yeah. like like they're were, they're were a little rocky and but i'll be like but yo but like your music like the songs you selected were great but you know it was really dope uh recently i he uh we played together in Cl in Cleveland. Um, just nice. Yeah, he was dope, man. I I'm heard never heard him DJ, but remember he just come hang out with us yeah. like pre pandemic, like every gig, like he was there. Hanging, I saw him in that like, Tri Studios. Shirt. Yeah, yeah. It's took a dog. video, took a picture. Yeah, but he was crushing it, dude. Yeah, I was, and he was on USBs. I was like, dude, I've been on USBs like like before oh, wow. COVID. Yeah. Oh wow. So That's he was awesome. super clean, like like you know, like his his playlist everything was on point i'm like all right That's so dope. after that weekend like i played on usbs a couple times before but after that weekend, i was like dude, i went back you know sorry we're gonna no it's or inspiring when you see like like other guys like even guys that you don't like you don't know like i see you guys play all the time yeah uh but it's inspiring when you see other guys who you don't really see all the time and like, they're good yeah. and you, they make you kind of like like yeah. damn man like this dude's no, like good like yeah. i need to like step yeah. my shit up again yeah i love what like that. We, like I want to do more. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like I'm fucking. I'm too lazy to go out. Like you know, after a long weekend, I just want to detox and recover and relax. Yeah. And going out during the week to go see DJs is so tough. But like sometimes we need to do that. Yeah. You know. I need or, to get better at that. Especially. Or now. even like we're out on the week. Like we're in go Vegas anywhere anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's like yeah, hit or miss too. Out. I've done that. Out. It's hit or miss though. Sometimes you do go out though, and you're just bro. You and stay then you, out. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. What? You stay out, man. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but dude, sometimes you go out and then you hear other guys and and it is like like you said like you know. Um, he was crushing it, but then sometimes you do go out and you're just like, man, this is why I should have stayed home. Yeah. Cause it shit is like, whack. Yeah. Scratchy and I, I was playing in Chicago and we were just like out day drinking and it was like, we went to, um, what's the name of this spot? It's like some, uh, cantina and they had a DJ upstairs. Me and Scratchy went up and we didn't even see where the DJ, the, I was like, is there a DJ in here? Like someone's mixing and it, dude was killing it, but he was like open format playing like rock fucking Weird mashups, but like it went, it went. And we we're like, oh, there he is. It's like some random dude, never heard of him. Wow. And I was like, yeah, I was like taking notes and shit. Like, oh, <laughs> shit, he's in this thing? Right. <laughs> oh, but it's not like to say hi to him, bro. It doesn't matter where no, I'm no. at. No, no, like he was so far up. Mm. Like, I don't even know how to like get to Like the old Vegas clubs? Yeah, dude. Bro, back when you would go up fucking stairwells to like no. get to the DJ booth? Tao? No, well, oh, there's called in, uh, uh, like Rum Jungle. Oh, yeah, Rum Jungle, oh, Early wow. Towel. Like, bro, you couldn't, there was no DJ. Yeah. Excess had a DJ in the closet. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. Which like, is it was now not the, about DJs. The, back which then. is now the lighting booth. But yeah, the DJ used to be in the closet. Early, the, the these have, I didn't, I never played in the closet. Pause. <laughs> it was uh, Warren, Warren and uh, Dave Fogg were like the first residents. Yeah. Dave yeah. Fogg, wow. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Dave Fogg, man. Shit. Dude, all I know is OG. like anytime I'm out, though, it doesn't matter like who's DJing, like whatever, like you're always going to hear something. 
that you, that you were just like, oh fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, like, even, that's, even this weekend, I heard a couple records. I was like, damn, I forgot about that. I'm telling you right now, my Shazam is hot. I got my Shazam. <laughs> it's the it's the top <laughs> app on my app. Nice. I, it, it, Shazam comes out. Don't yeah, get that. No matter thing where I I'm at. Is, Sinatra, like, shit. When I was in Japan, like I had the night off and like, or no, I was on a layover when I hung out with them, and like I was I was seeing like in front of them, like yeah, I'm Shazamming this dude, or I'm take a picture. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you playing? Like, oh, yeah, ain't no shame it. in my game. Bro, what was the name of the DJ in Tokyo? Scratchy. He played at One Oak before Sinatra. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, dope. yeah, yeah. He was killing it. All bro. those guys are dope, man. And like, C two. I follow him. I'll check. He he um he lived in New York for a while. No way. And obviously is very influenced by that because he was slamming shit and like like mixing shit, quick mixing. But bro, he was going crazy. He was so good. I was, like I was so smacked after just like talking his ear off. Like you're amazing. And you know they're my, super. I think nice my favorite guy there. from New York like that or with that style is still Big Ben. Oh, Big yeah, Ben. Yeah, DJ C two. Big Ben is an amazing yep. DJ. Yeah. Big Ben's dope, man. Yeah. Yeah, um, Big Ben's insane, bro. Yeah. You were I like saw raving him. about him, yeah, like not I too saw, long ago. I saw him recently in New York. Uh, what I mean by recently is like probably late last year, but man, he he was actually no, it was you were recent, it was like in May, yeah. I think it was like March or May. Maybe May. But dude, he blew my mind. Yeah. Like I was like, man, this guy's incredible. Incredible. Yeah, man. So, anyways, uh, I think... Should we do one more? Let's we'll do, do one, one more. more. Ayo Romero. How do you approach the challenge of staying creative or innovative in a ever-evolving uh, music industry? I mean, we kind of... Shit, man. It's, I don't know. It's like, I think, obviously, the answer could be content, but, like, what? Because it's... Content's tough too. You got to find new ways because, man, like, I think doing routine videos is there for you. It's yeah. there, but like, I don't know if that's going to move anything no. forward. I mean, like, I did a couple last year, or yeah, a couple last year, and you know, I got some hits, but it didn't do it, didn't really do I anything for that went, me. Like, went big, but like, it just. It just I did it for me just for fun, like you know. Yeah. See, like, and, and sometimes like, it is. It's just like it's that notch off your belt. It's like you know, like I was saying before, I did the, you know, during streaming, I did the twenty-four hour stream. I always wanted to do a twenty-four hour set. I did it. It didn't. It didn't catapult me in any way, shape, or form. But it was, was just wild, but yeah. one thing that had on that notch of I've done this. I've yeah. done this. I've done this. I've done this. And as far as like creativity, is, like yeah. I think the best way is, you know, these days personally, personally, I think the best way is like doing like beat breaker and cases myself do making edits and just trying to like yeah. keep your name in other DJs ears when yeah. they you when they're using things that you make yeah. that's me personally unless think, you have like that kind of like like that Aoki thing where you're like throwing cake off stage yeah you know I think um, one of the things that that stands out to me is um, creating your own party yeah. that yeah, like yeah, absolutely. I feel like it doesn't matter absolutely. it doesn't matter what market you're in you you already especially i know ao plays places like all you got to do is create your own party it could be small like I, we yeah. talked about it on the yeah. pod i think with angie uh, i had my own party 15 years ago mm -hmm. called uh, shuffle tuesdays i remember and lady gaga lmfao <laughs> like they were all pulling up and, it, and melody would come dj yeah. and it was bro and what i mean there was like 15 people in there and that was before 15 it, or if that 20 30 was that during uh, do was do over around back then too, or was that before? Do, uh, I think that's around the same time. Right? I wasn't up on do over. Okay. If it wasn't was. that right but over here? Do over, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, Davy Wayne. Of course, I remember. No, no, but do over came. started at Davy Wayne's over here, right? Uh, it, 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 yeah, it was. Uh, it was called Craig's. Wasn't it? It was something else before so Davy Wayne's. Banana Split was around. Oh, okay, that yeah, was so that's way before. Davey that was a hundred percent around. So that was. The Sunday party, yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. were on Tuesdays. So LMFL oh, cranes, cranes, cranes. That's what the over was. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, and it was. Anyway, that w was a I remember early I remember on. That. So yeah. we we just wanted to have fun. Yeah, we yeah, didn't yeah. know what. Well, the fuck I remember we were doing. doing banana split one Sunday night, and then because at that time I still wasn't living here yet, and and um, I remember I stayed for I like came a few days. I and, and then two I days later I was party. at your party. Yeah, I came to to see you play. Yeah, yeah. Um. Was it you and someone else or no? 
It's almost I, like I, I forget. Because I remember I went yeah. a few times at Rastano. I remember seeing Fashion. I remember seeing Dirty South <laughs> play in oh, there. Oh, wow. And I remember, Dirty I think, South, man, to come back. Um, but I remember going to when I, I was there every Sunday, bro. Yeah, I'm sad that was my I never got shit. to experience like banana split. And like I was, you know, because I was always busy, like working in Vegas. Like, and I had talked, I had talked to like, you know, Brian Linares at Dimock, you know, they, they, you know, you guys saw that they recently did like a 10 year anniversary yeah, kind of, like town, a, right? you of Cinespace. Yeah, yeah. And we did that. And Man, then that you, was a fun party. They too. were like, yo, we want to do this like quarterly. And then, you know, it's, you know, almost a year has gone by now. Yeah. yeah. But I went so, to a Cinespace once. Yeah. I went, I, cool. I think I seen like Will I Am DJ there or some shit. Yeah. yeah. When it's like Electro I saw, era. Uh, Aoki was there and then D Mike B was there. I remember he played. Um, I remember do you the remember? Tubics. You, you know, well, not to cut you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember who had a fire party too early on? Was uh, Adam Twelve? Oh yeah, the Apex yeah, yeah, or what yeah. was it called? Apex. That was a fun party yeah, too. Apex. I went he, once. He was talking about bringing it back, right, or something. Uh, he's not done a couple. Like I mean, he's done a couple downtown. Um, he he usually does the the full Prince parties. Yeah, he's mm. like all Prince Prince related parties. He's done a few of those oh, recently. That's tight. And then um. He did one. I played one night. Um, I played one night right off. It was in like um, uh, like Thai town. And um, I forget. The venue was really weird. It was like in this big building, but it had like one small door at the yeah. side. And I played that night. And I remember hmm. it wasn't very busy. There was only like 60, 70 people there. That's and all you need. Stevie Wonder came in. Wow. That's hot. <laughs> and I was That's like, he, Stevie Wonder came in. And, uh, and I, at first I was like, wait, is that who I think it is? Wow. And he was. He was like, there was a guy like guiding him. And like Stevie was kind of like holding onto his shoulder. And wow. And uh, sure enough, I got done. And, and Adam was there chopping it up. And then I was like, holy fuck, That's Stevie crazy. Wonder's here. But yeah, that's, I think that's right now that's a great way to yeah. stay creative because a it forces you to be creative yeah you got to come up with the name got to come up with the theme and yeah. then with that you build it from 10 people to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to hundreds and then you can make merch yeah. you can do and then and then that also just helps get your name out there like yeah. people know you from that party and like oh shit they want to play your party yep. and then guess what you get to play their party and exactly. you can start yep. doing trade-offs and that and it and happens then, all the time. And then Vegas yeah. comes calling. It's like, hey, we want your party at our you know venue. Like it, you know. Uh, RK, we talked about RK yeah. earlier. He's he's good at that. He he has his his uh his stream is now a uh, a real party. The yeah, no all, whammy, uh, yeah. all, all jammies, jammies no whammies. whammies. Yeah. Like he said, fuck it. Let me turn this into a party. And he's he's yeah. booking some like dope uh, DJs. Right? He, had, he just he had, had eccentric and Miles, yeah. and they streamed it live. And it was I was That's on the dope, stream. Man. It was popping. He Facetimed me, but I was already in bed. On I don't want to answer it. <laughs> RK, sorry, bro. <laughs> but but no, he makes merch like yeah, that. Yeah. That's a that's a good and you know, rec room we played there. That's a small smaller venue, fun, fun venue. Spot, but yeah. like, that's that's a great way for anyone in yeah. any market to just do your own thing, and that lets you not even depend on getting booked. Like you know what, fuck, yeah. Yeah. you create your own opportunity. Yeah. Period. Like yeah. make that shit. No one's gonna. Hire me. All right. I'll hire myself yeah. once a month or what, whatever you, if you want to do it weekly, monthly, but there's always going to be a bar in your area that will let you do it. Yeah. If you tell them, Hey, uh, you know, I'm going to bring a little fun, little party crowd. They're going to buy oh, drinks. Trust me, I've been like putting the feelers out, trying to get a, um, a robot rock party going. That'd be, no, that'd be like, fun like not, not like a weekly thing, but like maybe like once every couple months, I got the spot. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk after the podcast. Well, I'll say it right now because I don't think it'll ever happen, but <laughs> Jumbo's. Oh, that would Jumbo's be so dope. Jumbo's Clown Room. That would be, be so dope. That would be hot. That would be so I dope. I doubt they'll ever do it. That's Damn, why I said it. Dude, love. I haven't Jumbo's in like since 2019, man. I know. Oh I should have went last night. Anyway. Nah, I actually, because it might be, he has, you know, he's part, he's got, you know, his hands in the friend bar in Silver Lake. Man, that, that's oh, another, yeah. Mike that's B, we talked yeah. about it. Mike, B's, about it. Mike B is part of a lot of those fun little yep. parties, yeah. man. Like I follow, I love uh, Virgil Normal, like a local store mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I love everything they do. They have a thing called the club mm -hmm. and Mike B might be part of there, but they all just DJ at the friend or there's another yeah. bar in the, uh, in at, at water. I think it's called TGs or T something like that okay. um but there's a lot of cool little venues yeah and bro you remember the the old dime days yeah. like just fun shit i think it's so is the dime still open oh know. yeah oh, remember okay. there was like that uh, monday, monday night party yeah Motown monday yeah. i know artistics there uh, as is there on sundays oh shit as is um Damn. so yeah it, that that one still goes there's you a know, lot i really wish i drove down um 
down um, Las Palmas a couple weekends ago, just trying to see like what oh, where yeah. where what LAX the old, the old and like LAX element. and yeah. banana split, yeah. like what it was. But it's so different now. Yeah, I don't even know our, what that is now. After well, stereo's still there though. Right? After yeah. there was a club next to Las Palmas or LAX Las Palmas. There was a club next door, and after our Tuesdays, yeah. we moved it to there. Scorpion. What was it, Scorpion? Scorpion was the name of the bar we were at. Oh, okay. But then there was and a club. It started with a C. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Not Central. I was out it was here like yet, something. Yeah. I just remember. I don't remember. Ga- uh, what was it? Geisha. What was it? The oh, uh, Geisha House. Geisha House. That was, was a Geisha spot, House. Man. That was my I, shit, I bro. missed it, man. I, Karaoke? Because you would go. Well, we would go in on. Why well, would just fly in for Banana Split? But I would come in and be like, got to eat a Geisha. And then I'd walk, walk over. Geisha House. Yeah. Damn. That yeah. Geisha House was a shit. It was owned by Wilmer, Ashton, and. Another guy, I think all the guys from that 70s show were the owners. That's crazy. Yeah. And that was my favorite. Wednesday yeah, I walked night. up uh, Hollywood Bull- or, um, from uh, Highlight Room this past Friday. Um, walked up to Hollywood, um, got a ride from uh, my boy Trey over there. And uh, I'm walking up and I'm telling him, like, dude, the street looks so different than it did. Oh, you're just, yeah, you're you know, when I first got here. Up, yeah. like, and I was like, what is that over there? We saw like all these people pouring out. I was like, what is that even? I don't even know what that is. What is that? <laughs> Dude, I, yo, that, that went through my head. That was oh, so good. Oh, shit. What is that? What Daddy, is that? chill. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah. Crazy. I, 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 Create a party. We're we're uh, working on one right now, yeah. so we'll we'll keep you posted. Create a party, merch, edits, remixes, and I and I think I there's guess- no limit to anything you could think of just to keep your creativity going that you think will push your name forward. Yeah. Fucking do it. Don't yeah. even don't overthink it. Don't narrow it down to one thing. Watch YouTube. Don't like. I think one of my biggest things. Uh, that I want to like inspire the DJ community is like all the shit I do outside of DJing. Yeah. And I want people to see like, Oh damn, I don't have to just DJ. Yeah. Like five and I did a collab with Fila. Like that doesn't happen, you know? And, and that didn't come from them seeing our DJ It's from them seeing our branding and our marketing. Trust me. I have those tucked nice away in storage. Nice. I'm going to sell them in 20 years. (laughs) We have a unreleased sample. We have, yeah, we have two. We have two two. Un- two samples that were supposed to come out and then COVID happened. Yeah. Oh shit! And then our friend uh, left the company. Yeah. What you know? Shout out to to Lou, but yeah. Anyway, um, uh, do do everything. Anything yeah. that comes to mind, fucking do it because it's all you. Yeah. It's yeah. even though if you think that it's outside of the DJ world, it's all gonna fucking, come back. But I agree with you on the, on you know any like stuff that's outside yeah. of DJing like uh, you know even. You know, my girl tells me all the time, she's like, your, your personality, like people like know you, but they don't, they just see you as like, like one angle. They see you DJ. They know you're into all these other things. She's like, do these other, do some of these other things. You're a great example, motherfucker. You need to get your shit going. I know you already have the Instagram. (laughs) I'm going to put you on blast. Yeah, yeah. What is it, Dan? Daniel? For what is oh, it? Oh, the the interior design. Yes, bro. Bro, What's the you thing? have a great Studio eye Daniel for that, James? man. Studio Daniel James. Yeah. This guy, he's obviously he's not gonna say it. His taste for just art and furniture. His eye for everything. My man. house looks the way it does because of him. A lot of the pieces are yeah. his, like furniture. Thank but you, But like bro. this guy, is literally a, a, a magazine, yeah. bro. A magazine cover. Your taste for for art furniture interior design just anything you have taste thank you that's it that you have take your tasteful guy I appreciate so that. i you. i agree with your girl do something because yeah. you've had that instagram for two years probably there's i have there's there's you a couple th- it, there's yeah. a couple things where you know what it is here i'm gonna tell you the main reason why i haven't really done like some some things and right now coming out of covid like my my main bread and butter for a lot of djs is djing no and so it just it's it's how do you focus on something like that when I'm constantly just trying to keep that calendar full? Yeah, but you you're know? not DJing but you're not, yeah. 24-7. Yeah, but you, you, if you really want to, that's what I'm saying. I'm know, not going to let you saying. give me excuses because I could say the same yeah. shit. I do. Guess what? My, my income yeah. is from DJing. Yeah. But guess what? That allows me to have freedom yeah. to do other things. Yeah. I buy blanks. I buy heat press i buy yeah. this i buy that i buy hats i buy all this stuff i get embroidery done i get this done yeah. why because i just dj'd yeah. and then i have a little bit of money so i'll reinvest it into this and then guess what i'll sell some shit and that makes money and it just keeps trickling down yeah 
Well, no, I hear you. And then and, and it's kind of like I'm my own first client because like yeah. you'll see like I'll, I'll every now and then I'll do like some posts like I'll like I just repainted my living room for the fourth damn time in two years, literally like last week. Because I'm just, I get, I get, it's not that I get bored with it, but I want to try new things. I want to move things around. I want to make things look different. And it's like, until I have a client that I can actually do that just with, take I'm kind of like, I have too, to man. like do it myself and then take pictures. And it's almost like, this is what I've done. These are like examples of what I've done. They just all happen to be my spaces, yeah. but it's just, you know, it's, it's fine right. in that. I'm going to, so. I'm going to hire you soon. There, there we go. go. And I on like real hire you, not on Let's some like it. favor shit. Like I, I really need some help. Let's right. do it with the stuff. One the last house. question is for for fashion. Um, why are you? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna. So damn. I knew you were gonna. <laughs> why are you so damn handsome, dog? <laughs> why are you so damn sexy, bro? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are crazy. Yeah. Anyway, thank Yo, you guys. Yo, thanks for having me. Thanks back. for coming awesome. by, man. Um, I think this is, your this is another thing you're good at, talking. Yeah. So come. On the anytime, pod anytime. Uh, you know, <laughs> We'd love to have you. I, hey, I'm down to do it anytime you want. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Yeah, anytime. thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we will see you soon. I want to say next week, but we haven't committed to a weekly yet. It's bi weekly. Um, but yeah, man. We're, do uh, we have do we have a merch discount? Can we do a merch discount, Scratchy? Sure. All right, let's do twenty percent off. Twenty percent off, and it's available for one week only. Because <laughs> we did we gave a massive uh uh discount w with our first one because it was three mm -hmm. hours long so we're like yo we'll get fucking 40 percent some crazy shit off um and then people took three weeks to listen they're like yo where's this this shit don't work no more we're like yeah well uh expired yeah so up for one week two weeks what do you want to do one week, one week. One week. <laughs> scratchy is one week only <laughs> here's a short pod All right, one so. week only 20 percent off why not uh up. pod podcast so what is it? Something about the podcast? All right. How about this? Code. Uh, the code word is fashion. Cool. F A S H E N. Fashion. Yeah. Fashion. 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 Yeah. Where are you guys? Uh, where are you playing next? Uh, actually, we'll be in. Uh, I think this pod won't will air after, but um, Sacramento Park, Park Sacramento this Friday. Yeah. All right. So we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna air after. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, I was in Atlanta <laughs> this past weekend, man. Uh, TNG, tits and grits. You know what I'm saying? I uh, got a blast. Yeah. Any up, up and coming shows? Uh, Tongue and Chicago grits, and on grits. the fourth. Ooh, okay. of August. Nice. And then oh, uh, let's get your yacht rock party going. I'm gonna oh, make yeah. sure you, there's shit. I'm so. Down. I'm gonna make sure you like. Commit, but bro. Suja was actually telling me, he's like, you should do a Yacht Rock party for Scam yeah. Summer, but there's so many things going on. I'm like, yeah, it's it just like, you know, I, and I did. I, I felt like hitting uh, Mike B up about, like, because we had talked, I had already talked to Mike about possibly doing something, but, um, you know. At the friend? Just like, yeah, at the friend. Is, but it's is just, he an owner, partner? Yeah. What's that? He's a partner there? Yeah. Owner. But it just, you know, there. I know people are already going into Silver Lake for Zach's party. I don't know that they're going to keep going back into Silver Lake, you know, because it ain't close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I think so. I'm, I'm, I might be dropping a set for Zach's shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Zach has like a theme uh, that he wants to do, and uh, it's going to be fun. Well, he hasn't told me the theme. Maybe I'm not dropping a set. You know, you're dropping a set. <laughs> oh, I am? Oh, okay. I'm dropping a set. Okay. We're dropping sets. All right. Well, with like I'll uh, see, I'll see 50 there. other DJs. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> fine with me. All right. Well, I'll 10 minutes. Everyone's going to do a song each. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to give it away. There. But yeah. I'll be there hanging out. I'll yeah, see you we'll guys. Be there. All right. Cool. Thank you guys, guys for uh, listening. See you guys. See you guys soon. And we didn't finish all the questions. So TBC.